Hi, I'm Vandana. I'm Aarti. Today we are going to cook veg kurma. It is a one pot meal. It is considered as a main course. You can eat that with rice or rotis. So let's get started. Sure. For this recipe, we need one tablespoon mustard seeds, one tablespoon cumin seeds, half tablespoon sesame seeds, quarter cup of peanut, five to six red chillies, quarter cup cashew nuts, quarter tablespoon whole coriander seeds or dhania, few strands of cilantro, one cup of yogurt or curd, the whole garam masala spices, bay leaf, cinnamon, three to four cloves, three to four cardamom, four medium sized carrot cubed in cut into cubed sizes, six to seven strands of mint leaves, one medium sized onion, one small tomato, four to five medium sized potatoes, one cup water, two to five tablespoons of oil, teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste, quarter teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of red chili powder. We already have a skillet heating up with two to three tablespoons of oil. Since the oil is hot, we'll first add in our peanuts. Let the peanuts cook till it uses little oil so that then we are good to add in our other ingredients. Now that the peanuts are oozing some oil, we are going to go ahead and add cashews and give it a quick stir. Now we'll add cumin seeds, g uh, jeera and sesame seeds, the coriander seeds, also red chili and, and we have to keep stirring it. Now we can see the sesame seeds crackling up. So we are almost done with the seasoning and we will just turn off the stove and let it cool down for 10 to 15 minutes. Now the mixture is cooling down. It's been resting for 10 minutes. So we will just add it to the mixie and make a fine paste of it. Now in a cooker, I am adding 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is hot, I am adding all the whole garam masala, bay leaf, cinnamon, clove, cardamom to it and just give a quick stir. Time to add in our onion. It's like a one pot dish where we keep on adding other rest of the vegetables. Uh, adding in the ginger garlic paste. Now that the onions have turned a little translucent and slightly soft. So we'll add in our tomatoes and let them cook for about a minute or so. And now we'll add in all the other ingredients. Potatoes, carrot, mint leaves, cilantro, yogurt, little garam masala, chili powder. And the spice that we made earlier from the spices. A spoon of salt. And give it a quick mix. So now you can add in the water. Now it's all done and we'll close the lid of the cooker and we'll wait till two or three whistles come off. Now that we have taken out the veg kurma of the cooker and we've just set it into a bowl and we garnished it with cilantro and it's all ready to eat. Thank you.